This is an emergency, I beg an urgent This is a serious case I'm feeling good. How about you? I'm trying to get there. All right. All right. So I'm going to put some fluid water on my hand before I touch these cards. All right. As you know, <coughs> excuse me. As you know, I'm a direct energy reader. So I don't need to know your birth date uh, or zodiac sign. I ask that you be open with the spirit, have fun, ask questions if you got them. Uh, I am going to allow you to select five cards uh, for your emergency reading. You're going to select five cards of each house of your choosing. And, I, and when you select these five cards, spirit is going to tell you the emergency that's going on and give you helpful hints during that emergency, what's going on in the houses that you select. After we discuss those five cards, then you got about 25 or however long we got to uh, ask any question that you want to ask spirit and see uh, see what he can help you with. I mean, this is an emergency reading. You got questions and uh, spirit got to give you the answers. All right. All uh, right. I'm going to ask that you, uh, if you could, uh, you, got a, you got a real soft voice. So if you could, uh, you oh, know, sorry. you could, okay. you, you could speak up. I got the the, uh, the audio close to the camera mic, but it's it's a good mic. It'll pick up whatever. But I just want you to okay. make sure you can hear it. All right. So with that being said, do you hold on? Do you know uh, the houses that you uh you want to select? Okay then, so, alright. Now, with that being said, say your first... Oh, you just blocked my prayer. Oh, what are you looking for the meaning of? Spirit say you... Huh? We're looking for the what? Spirit said, spirit, when I was saying my prayer, my word changed up to meaning, to meaning. It said, give me the meaning, give me the meaning. I don't know, what, what are you saying, spirit? You keep, so you're looking for the meaning of something. Hmm. Let me try to pray over again. Uh, That's a steal of block right there. Meaning and strength. These are the two words that's blocking. That's not in my prayer. Flip it. A couple of lines. I got to ask you to get a message from YouTube. Okay. Give me. Give me a message from YouTube. Her. I said you protect her and guide her as you see fit. That's how I ask the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do I have permission to cut your cards? You do. I had to fight that one, and I'm gonna be real honest. You go, you going through something up there in that noggin? I see. You don't understand something, and you don't have strength about understanding something, or you asking spirit to give you strength to help you fully grasp the concept and understand, so you can make an informed decision. Am I right? You are. Jesus Christ, and that was a block, like a block, block, block. Whew. Let's get, see, now this is an emergency reading, God damn it. All right. What's those five, what's those five houses you got? Alright. Alright. I see it. 
So how long he been? So how long he been the breadwinner? Me? How long? How long? How, I'm gonna say how long has change it back? How long have dependency? Let's go dependent on money, dependent on finances. Because I'm gonna break it down in a rule before I tell you what they say. So who is the one that's dependent on? the other's finances more so than anything it's a fear-based dependency by the way uh, between you you and this I'm male afraid. between you and this male or you and your mate probably me all right So, all right, so I'm going to just tell you, I just, you know what, let me let Spirit tell you, because I can read these cards, I want you to get the message from Spirit. I could just, brah, pow, this is what you should do. But let's let's keep everything on it. All right, we're going to start with your first house. Your first house, your first house is ruled by Aries and is governed by Mars. Your first house represents your ego, your self-esteem, how you see yourself, how you treat yourself. This one is all about you. And in this house right here, you have the enslaved prisoner. I don't know if this is like you have the enslaved prisoner in the upright position. Now, having an enslaved prisoner in the upright position, this says that you are really bonded. You are really shackled. You're you really can't move. Your head is so you're so out of doing things what you can do to help yourself till it's unreal. You are chained to a post, a stake that you just can't see no way out of. This is you. And for you to be the type of woman you are, your ego should never touch rock bottom like it is now. So, uh, let me ask. Uh, did you just break a bottle of perfume or throw it, waste it, break it, or spill it? Something fell in the bathroom. Okay, something, some, some, some fragrance, some fragrant thing fell in your bathroom, right? Mm -hmm. This, that was a sign of you. It, I want to say it's like you did that, but that was you backing up that feminine energy like I'm not worthy style energy or I don't need it you ever see how a woman just get pissed off and just just scrub her and throw all the lipstick makeup in the garbage in the movies yeah that's the energy I'm feeling from that scenario of that perfume or fragrance bottle whatever drop am I correct I, I can see that yeah, okay So again, I'm going to tell you what spirits say. A woman of your stature, a woman of your character, a woman of your mindset should never let your ego drop this low. That's his message. Would you like to tell me about your ego why it's so damn low? Yes, I want to know like what happened, what I can do. Like, I don't, where did I go wrong? Like, figure out now you gotta you gotta be you gotta be specific with these questions where did you go okay. wrong with okay. what life husband relationship money children with in the way I view myself like spirit spirit she got two questions in one and we're gonna answer them where did she go wrong Okay, they gave me teach. They gave me teach, but they saying teach as an offer. Where did you go wrong? You offer too much. Now, when I say you offer too much, this is serious here. You offer in excess. We ain't gonna say too much. You offer in excess. So I need you. I need you here at all times. Okay. I need you to be where I can see you. I know where you at at all times. I need to check your phone. I need to know that you're here. I need to know. I need to know everything about you. Okay. 
you offer too much. That's the way you went wrong. So spirit, when did this go wrong? This went wrong, it says meditate. This went wrong when you decided to try to understand your mate's mindset. Before you tried to understand your mate mindset, shit was pretty cool. You understood that this is what it is, this is how it gotta be. But when you became the more sensitive of the partner and you allowed this person to dominate you right away. And when that domination happened, okay, now you feel trapped and chained because you allowed yourself to be dominated. Am I making any kind of sense to you? I don't know. I don't know if this your current mate. Because you just told me to say what's going on. I'm telling you what spirit say what happened. Why you feeling like this. We haven't gotten into your current mate session. This is why you feeling like this. Now you didn't say that spirit who. Gotcha. But you understand why you see yourself like this. And you understand what put you in this situation. For you to see okay. yourself like this. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to go over here to your second card, which is in your third house. Your third house is ruled by Gemini and is governed by Mercury. Your third house represents your communication. Don't take this communication literally. It's just information. And in this house right here, you have Oshun. You have Oshun in your third house. And if I'm going to show you and be honest with what Oshun doing, she's sitting down on her knees offering herself up. So your communication is maybe we can fix it maybe maybe I can do more what maybe I should be a little different you know what I'm saying yeah. that song keeps playing in my head where did we go wrong with the love so maybe we can fix it you follow me yeah. This is your communication to this particular individual. So why do you feel, again, a woman of your stature, a woman of your character, a woman of your knowledge and education, mm -hmm. why do you feel the need to drop your ego so low? Let me, let me guess, let me guess, you cut your hair and you don't look good yet. <laughs> hmm. We're going to use that excuse? Every now and then, that's the excuse. Say what? <laughs> Say what? So that's one of the excuses. I know, because you know what spirit showed me? You looking at a wig, and you looking at one of them auburn colored wigs. It ain't even a black wig or nothing. It got color in the bitch. Uh, natural color, a little bright for my taste, but hey, uh, you looking at you looking at putting on a wig. They keep saying, so you're you're using your anatomy as an excuse, where really it's supposed to be your. It's supposed to be your, your mindset, your ego, that's supposed to be running the show. But I I don't know nothing. So, again, you have Oshun in your house of communication. What you're doing, you're trying to offer yourself up. You're trying to offer every solution in the book to fix this situation. But you know you gave your you gave up your power to this particular individual. So if you know you gave up your power and your ego is stagnant, now you're going to see with communication. Baby, I can fix it. Don't go. Don't leave. What time you coming home? I'm going to my mom's house. I'm going to my auntie house. I'm going to my brother's house. I'll be at the grocery store 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock. I call you when I get home. It's that type of shit, right? And let's say I probably went and screamed with it, okay? But I can I can only I can only be one way with this. 
because it's sickening to me in the barren. You should not you should not have a low energy bone in your body when it comes to your personality. All right, I, uh, would you like to ask Oshun a question? What can I do in this house to fix my communication? Not what can you do, what should you do? So rephrase what it. Should I do? Spirit, what should she do? What should she do to fix her communication? Give her a. It says, find the blessing in your current situation. Uh, the blessing in your current situation is you are emotionally detached from the conversation meaning that this is an experiment for you correct this is not this is not something you truly believe so all the shit you're saying trying to communicate you don't truly believe it this is an experiment for you and if you're wrong you say nah Baron I truly believe wholeheartedly I'm, I'm just, I'm a little you're confused what can you do yeah. what should you do in your communication spirits say find the blessing in your current situation the blessing in your current situation is this lady is dancing on top of water water represents emotion and if she's dancing on top of it ain't even touching it that means you're not in your feelings one way or the other you're just on point make sure make sense so find what can you do about it find the blessing in your current situation that's one so it's explained that what can she do about it spirit it says energy healing. Find a blessing in your current situation and energy healing. This is time for you to step back. Mm -hmm. You don't get in your feeling. You step back and it's time for you to take a good, cold, hard look at how the fuck this person is treating you. Responding, not treating. Responding to you via all the endearments that you're doing. Take a step back. See is it working out see what's working this is the biggest thing you can do is find a blessing you can know if you want to deal with this person or not you know should you continue to deal with this person makes sense yes boy when we lose feelings for somebody boy don't that hurt we don't know <laughs> if we doing the right thing the wrong thing or just doing some shit we second guess ourselves, and we second guess everybody here we second guess God <laughs> Say what now? I said next house. Oh, okay. You, you, you me. I know. I know. But you call it the Baron. Don't you need the help? Okay. <laughs> you listen, you don't go and drop this much money on an emergency reading and don't get the help. Uh -huh. So is these two houses helping you yet? Yes. So stop asking him what can we do to fix it? where did we go wrong you need to ask him how the fuck you gonna try to make this better man before i walk out on your ass all right so now we're gonna go over here to your fourth house now you know the fourth house is ruled by cancer and is governed by the moon the fourth house represents your actual house and home and look how proper i'm saying this it represent your actual house and home. It also represent the three people that you will allow to stay in your home via friends and family. In this house, you know, and it's governed by the moon. The moon say don't don't leave nothing out. This house is also governed by the moon. And if you know anything about the moon, the moon shed lights on secrets. Not all secrets are bad. You know, some things you got to keep to your chest for survival, etc., etc. You don't tell the people what you're really afraid of because, hell, somebody will come around the corner and use it on you, right? Mm -hmm. Some secret are good, but spirits say this secret here is bad. That That's hiding in your house and home. So you have a secret in your house and home. You know, like that old saying, what well, goes on behind closed doors, stay behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. That's the analogy for this house. But your fourth house represents your actual house and home and the card that you have in this house right here is the nine of air in the upright position having this card in the upright position in your house and home paired with this secret that the moon is telling on your ass with uh there's a lot of back and forth you are getting a lot of 
negative tongue lashings from multiple people. I would say, let's say the husband come home and say some off the wall shit. Now his mama got something to say. Now his sister got something to say. Hell, his step, your, your stepchild got something to say. You following how this going? You are getting negative tongue lashing from multiple sources. And I just do some general stuff out there, but the message is the same. And, it, and I want you to tell me, Baron, I don't think that's true. I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind because the message ain't going to change. I'll show you a certain way. The nine of uh huh. You say it's possible. Mm -hmm. Nothing can be possible if it's happening to you. Nothing can be possible if it's enduring. If you're enduring it, that means it's happening. So nobody is talking shit to you in that house, or nobody is talking not to, my face. <laughs> not to your face. Okay. So not even the boyfriend, husband, girlfriend. I don't know which one it is because I'm not looking into that yet. So I'm just saying all these people. So so I'll t explain the card. I'll show you what's on the card and maybe you can see. Spirit download tour. So you have nine sticks pointed at this bird that's flying around looking for a place to land. Looking for a place to calm down. Looking for a place to calm his nerves. But you got nine sticks. Hold up, these aren't sticks, these are guns. You got nine guns shooting at this bird like a duck hunting e expedition. And if air is verbiage, air is words, air is <sighs> talking. And you got nine of them, this is people talking shit to you. Maybe get started in the month of September. Or maybe you got the hardest hit in the month of September. Now your fourth house represents your home. This shit started in the home. Or the three closest people you will allow to stay in your home. Am I breaking this card down enough for you? We are. Now. Spirit, who are you talking about? Spirit. Who, who is these people you're talking about? Because she just, she just, nobody's talking shit to her that lives with her. Correct? I want to make that shit clear. Not to my faith, no. Not to her faith. Spirit, then who is these people that's talking to her, about her? Spirit says twin flame. This is your mate. Okay. And the analogy stays the same. Your mate is talking and he's bringing everybody else into it. He's putting these people in y'all business. Making any kind of sense? Yeah. Now, I know you. I know you're gonna say next house, right? No. Okay, cause the moon. Okay. Cause, got for this, so. Yeah, cause the moon ain't even talk. That was just the house. It's governed by the moon, the house of secrets, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the moon is telling me straight up. The moon is telling me straight up. With this twin flame energy, right? This is something you're allowing to happen. You're kind of like going going steady with it. Easy peasy, go cheesy, breezy, steezy, and all the other rhyming words. But you let shit happen to you, right? The moon is saying... Your confrontational game is not up to par. You may think you got a handle on it. You may think you know how to manage the moon saying you really don't. And you and you the what you're trying is gonna get you like hurt or not if not hurt, it's gonna get you uh it's gonna get you exposed. Do you know why they keep using that word exposed? I do not. Are you trying to get dirt on this person? Yeah. 
Am I trying to get No. I have I mean, I have gone through his phone before. Like, that's the only thing I can think of. All right. Now, you've gone through this phone. I'm telling you what Spirit say. You're trying to get dirt on this person. You've gone through his phone. Spirit say, the secret is, this is what you're doing, and you're doing it the wrong way. And you're going to get exposed. He's going to find out you're going through his phone. That's going to be another chaotic movement. You follow me? The cards ain't going to change, because this is here to help. You don't want him popping off, getting yelling, angry. I don't know if he's a striker. But you don't, you don't want that, that bitching. So you need to ask spirit, how do you go about getting the information you need on this person in a different way? Spirit, how do I go about getting the information that I need? A different way. A different way. Spirit, how does she go about getting the information she need on this person a different way from going through his phone? Priorities. Stay focused. Let it go. Priorities. Stay focused and let it go. You need to keep not change your pattern up. What the issue is, you're changing your patterns up. You're changing your methods, your movement. The way you need to do, you need to make him feel so comfortable that he think you're doing one thing and then break. Have kind of a break in the day and go and go check something else. You'll get all the dirt you need. Now, I want to go a little deeper in this because I just told you how to act. But Spirit, where where can she find the information she needs for her to make an informed decision about this movement? Where will she find the time, place, information she needs for her to make an informed decision? All right, where does this man visit that has a pool? Has a pool? Yeah, somebody of water. All right. Uh, so let me. Where does where does he work? Don't I mean that's what? Yes. Yeah, so where does he work? On a base. On the army base, right? Don't 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 shut down on me now. I need you to bring that energy back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is he scheduled to go overseas? Because I'm looking at water. Uh no. Not that I know of. Okay. Spirit, you said something dealing with a body of water. I need for you to be a little bit more clear. Because he's landlocked on the army base and she can't see this. How will she find the information she needs on this person to get the information she needs to make an informed decision? So you gave me water, purification, rinsing, water, rain, ocean, water. Where? Positive change. Purification, positive change. Uh huh. Balanced career and home life. When he gets, when he's going to come to you about an overseas trip, they keep telling me crossing water, positive change, balanced career and home life. And he's a career military man. I'm thinking a move is coming up. And uh, his, in huh? I said okay. And I think his information, his skeleton is going to come out of his closet and chase his ass around the room uh, during that move. So be patient. Don't change your shit up. Just wait till they present. Oh, I'm going to relocate to another base. I'm going to relocate to this area here. And you may just see the information you need. Rather it's another woman pop her head up in the bitch. Rather it's something. You know? Because okay. spirits say it got something to do with his job. But the water is very prevalent. He's moving somewhere. Maybe it's a town called Watertown. I don't know. But you better look for every aspect of liquid in it, okay? Okay. So stop going through his phone. He's smarter than that, by the way. Okay. Now we're going to go over here to your sixth house. Your sixth house is ruled by Virgo and it's governed by...
by Mercury. Your sixth house represents your future economic affairs, money, wealth, prosperity, growth, and investment. In this house right here, you have the undines and the mermaids in the upright position. So, I'm just going to say it, darling. Are you staying for the money, for the comfort? I mean, not really because, like, I have my own. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just, I don't know what I would do for the additional, I guess. I, I don't know. Spirit then asks you about do you have your own spirit asks you why are you staying in this relationship? Is it for the comfort zone of the money? Because spirit showing me the undies and the mermaid. This lady is holding on to two rocks under the under the ocean in her emotions, financially, future money. You're saying to yourself what spirit is telling me. And you can buck it. Spirit is saying. Spirit is saying. I don't want to let this lifestyle go. I don't want to let this. I don't want to let this 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 way of life go. I don't want to let this go. You know, I'm doing pretty good. You know, I can deal with this shit just a little bit longer. Uh, yeah, this is what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. This is what spirit's showing me. So for your future money, darling, you're scared. You're scared of losing a lot of supplemental income. We'll say that, okay? I am. Uh huh. Just be honest with spirit, cause we gonna help. Now, I'm th thank you for being honest. That, I know I understand you're a strong woman. I understand. I, I really do understand that. <laughs> thank you for being honest. Yeah. Listen, I, I got money, but if my partner got more money and we making more money together, that's one less bill I need to struggle with. Yeah. I'm. Shit, don't go. Right. Right. Don't go. Stay your ass here. We, we. Yeah. We got this. I can overlook a lot of shit if I if I'm. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. So, uh, would you like to ask this card a question? Um, uh, what do I need to do to set myself up for a good economic situation? Spirit, what does she need to do? What does she need to do to set herself up for a great economic situation? Ooh. ooh. I'm liking this now. Ooh, I can smell the goodness coming from you. I can smell the strength returning. <laughs> Did you just eat some damn spinach, pop out of Sailor Woman? Shit. Uh, no. <laughs> God damn, I can see the power surging. Ooh, them questions. Spirit, what can she do? What can she? Spirit said, fuck it, you can do it. You can do whatever you set your mind to. He gave you the card. Now, in my beautiful Mexican voice, you can do it. Spirit, what should she do? Give her tangible. Give her tangible solution. What should she do? Ask, his spirit said, you ask me and I shall receive. Spiritual laws of attraction. You can do it. Spiritual laws of attraction. What can she do? Give me some more. Give me some more. Give her. And it says, follow your heart. That thing you always wanted to do. And I'm going to be cliche with this because I know you know what I'm talking about. That thing you always wanted to do that was going to make you some money. Spirit says, you can do it. Spiritual laws of attraction and follow your heart. Mm, mm, mm. So, what did you want to do? Did you want to go and uh, purchase a macaroni factory in Texas? That's a joke. That's a joke. Don't nobody, don't nobody eat macaroni in Texas. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do. That's the thing. Uh, spirits say follow your heart. So. Okay. Evidently, you know what you want to do. Spirit, what did she want to do? Because she playing. What did she want to do, Spirit? Me. Spirit says, follow your heart. Spirit says, go now. What's up with this teaching thing? What's up with this getting people attention, like being noticed? Did you want to be an Instagram model? And that's a joke, but did, but on the same line. Did you want to, did you want to like picture, you want attention, clothing, fashion, attention. Cause he's saying, and I'm saying all the things that's coming with attention because the word he's using is attention, acting, dancing, modeling. 
did you want to do something along those lines or help people get to that point where they can act, dance, and model? Spirit says you're you're looking for attention like, hey, hey, look at me. Hey, look at me. This is what you want to do. This is why he's saying follow your heart. Uh, but you have no clue what you want to do. I want to do what I'm supposed to do. Like, I, I just I want to know what my destiny is. Like, what am I supposed to do here on this earth? Like, okay. So, so good thing you changed that question. Okay. So then now watch now watch how your destiny line up with what the hell spirit the three card spirit gave you. Spirit, she want to know her destiny. What is her destiny? What is her purpose on this planet? Spirit say you first card right. What is her purpose on this planet? Second card trust. What is her purpose on this planet? Persistent. Right, trust, and persistent. Okay. Spirit say you want to be noticed. Right, trust, persistent. I'm saying, oh, serious? Are you too old to be a paralegal? Like, law? No, I'm not too old. But they said something about paralegal. Like, law. Like, contractual law. You're confusing, you can, you're confusing me. I know what Spirit is saying. I but, think I am. <laughs> huh? Because you, in your mind, you're thinking, okay, I want to write a contract. Then you're thinking, I want to, I want to, I want to live a fantasy world by helping everybody get to where they need to go. You haven't set a definite on this, because spirit said, "Acts and you shall receive with spiritual laws of attraction." What are you asking spirit for? You can't sit up there and feel like a damn prisoner in your home and in your marriage and want a way out but then you don't ask the spirit for nothing or you don't be definite for it so this is on you what do you want look you saw all the stuff when you first started reading say what now I said you saw all the stuff when you first started to read I saw everything, right? Are you sniffling and crying? No. I heard that sniffle now. I don't like them. I don't like tears now. That make me cry now. We all I cry on this bitch. <laughs> so you want to be free? Mm -hmm. Be fucking free. Pick up a career. Two careers. We're going to just say it like this. You got two destinies and you got two careers. You can either take your ass and you can start photography. You can start your own uh, image promotion business. You can start anything. Hell, you can be an Instagram model yourself. Next, you can sit up there and you can become a paralegal, write legal contracts and laws. Two things you're very good at doing to which you just lack the confidence to really get out there and try to do. Freedom is not what you should be wishing for. Freedom is something you do. You just act on it. You follow me? Yeah. So, is this six house making, making, making sense to you? Because you confused the hell out of me and I had to like stop one at a time. Um, a little bit. Like, I haven't been into the law of things since high school. <laughs> and, like, the modeling stuff, like, I see myself as opposite, but like, so I don't. You see yourself as opposite of a model? Yeah, like, I don't like the attention thing. I don't really. Like 
to be around people like that. Um, if you if you're a model, you don't have to be around people. You take your pictures and you sign and you put your watermark on them and allow people to compliment on them and, and you sell some pictures, you know, of yourself uh, doing a handstand on a on a on a concrete pole or something. <laughs> Do you follow me? I, I need for you to get, so basically spirits say ask for what you want to do to free yourself and okay. your future money. Because your your problem is you're not asking and he just gave you two reputable things that you can do. That's it. So now we're going to go over here to your seventh house. Your seventh house is ruled by Libra and is governed by Venus. Your seventh house represents your relationship, the couple dating, matrimonial affairs, love, romance, and passion. In this house right here. You have the couple's card in the upside down position. Having this card in the upside down position in your seventh house of love and marriage, this is a separation coming. You asked to be free. Spirit told you you can be free. You ask for a destiny, a purpose on this earth, what you can be doing. You're going to be writing contracts and showing off. Follow your heart, what you want. So, would you like to ask the seven half the question? Because I ain't even going to go into detail. Oh. Hmm? Why is it happening? When? I'm not going to ask that question because you you determine that. We're not going to we're not going to do a lazy reading and spirit tell you oh you need to leave June 13, 2027. No. You leave when you decide to leave, but just know spirit say this marriage is all but over, okay? But it Okay. Did I do my part? There you go. Spirit, did she do, was she the best wife she can be up until? Correct. Was she the best wife she can be? Focus upon your strength. Was she the best wife she can be? Detach from drama. Was she the best wife she can be? Father, husband, brother, son. Oh, wow. You focus upon your strength, meaning you love this man. They saying you detach from drama, meaning you try not to argue with this man. You try to cater to this man. And then it says, was well, you the best wife you could be? You said father. It says father, husband, brother, son. You did everything you could. People, people get frustrated. People stop fighting. You know, if you constantly telling the bitch you, you cheated on me and they say, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I know you did. No, I didn't. Where's your proof? I don't got to have proof. I just know in my heart. You cheated. You cheated. You cheated. You know what that's going to do? That's beating you down. Okay, fuck it. He think I cheated anyway. You know? That's what happened to you. They broke you down so bad. Put you in this weakened mindset. But yeah, spirit say you did what you did. You did. You was the best part of yourself. Even if you made a mistake or two, you still was the best part of yourself in this relationship. Sweetie, if you're tired, you're tired, okay? Now, that completes your fire card spread. And yes, this was an emergency. Rather, you came with this, whether you couldn't make up your mind on the energy you needed or not. But this was an emergency, okay? Now I need for you to just ask some random question because we got some more time. Do she need to be more invested in her, her mother's or keep her distance? They say it's peace offering. Peace offering meaning you got her invest in this woman. I'm seeing blue flowers in, in, in a park. I'm seeing green with blue flower blue with blue flowers with white at the bottom. I seen these flowers before, but I don't know the name of them. Blue flowers? Yeah, I'm seeing somebody real tall like it's like they they stature is so high 
but I'm looking down from the trees and there's like blue flowers yeah. there's like blue like a green trees with blue flowers coming off of it but this person is really tall like I'm looking at a bird's eye view and you know how the camera distort you can see little legs and little feet and a upper body to get tall mm -hmm. uh, I want to say that you're looking down on your mother I want to I want to say that you're the one looking down on your mother because your mother looks down on everything else so you're judging the shit out of her they said peace offering. Stop judging your mama. Stop judging her. If she got an addiction, if she got an attitude, if she got a fucked up mindset, don't judge her for it. Just accept her for it and that relationship gets a hell of a lot better. Because if you know somebody crazy, less likely you'll be worried about if they're crazy or not, right? Remember what uh, remember what the spirit just said. You're looking down on her. She's very dependent. You're looking down on her. The message don't change. So yeah. So peace offering. Stop looking down on her and that relationship change. If you know she's dependent, accept the role that she's dependent. But don't judge her because she's dependent. And that's it isn't that what spirit just told you? All right, I just want to make sure you get the message. So, what's the next question? Um, is there anything I need to know about your kids? About your children? Yes. Spirit, is there anything she need to know about her children? Oh, this car dropped out on the ground. Uh, Spirit, say you ain't got no children. Spirit, say all them kids ain't yours. They, the government gave them to you. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I'm just bullshitting. I had to break the ice because you're serious right now. I can see you staring at the phone. You're serious. Just had to break the ice. Listen, <laughs> this card just dropped out, and I'm scared to flip it over. Spirit, Perfect. what about her kids? First card is clear and shield your energy. Oh, look at that yard. Goddamn. Please stop worrying about these kids, lady. They gonna make it. They good. Stop worrying about them. Don't base your life and all your situations off of them. De clear and shield your energy, so stop worrying about them, okay? Second card that flew out of my hand, and I don't know what this is, Spirit. What What about this card? What, what about our kids? Spirit says, power of joy. Clear and shield your energy and power of joy. Those kids gonna be okay. Driving this home. Those kids gonna be okay. Make sense? Yes. Yeah. What's your next question? Um, what do I need to do for myself, like to help myself? What should I be doing? <laughs> Spirit, what should she be doing to heal herself? He said he told you that in the third house, but what should she be doing to heal herself? Retreat into nature. What should she be doing to heal herself? Release intention. Retreat into nature, release intention. Whoa. What should she do? And nurture yourself. So, Spirit say take a real step back and stop being so... I don't want to use the word judgmental a second time. But stop being so I gotta use the word judgmental. Spirit say take a step back and stop looking. Stop stop making everybody else's problems your problem. Stop making every situation totally about you. Sometimes a situation is just a situation. And when you take yourself out of it, you can manage that situation a hell of a lot better. So retreat to nature. Release tension and nurture yourself. That's how you heal yourself.
take a step back. Mm. Um, okay, you got one more question. That's right. Can I ask that if uh, any of my ancestors want to get that message? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I thought they were saying ancestor reading, but let's ride. Spirit, uh uh, you asked the question, I gotta do it. Damn. Um, Sorry. Ancestors, is anybody wanna come? Just one of y'all. Just just y'all better collect them and make a collective cut. Does any of y'all wanna give her a message? Any kind of ancestor? Flow of prosperity, I figured. Ancestors, see the other person's point of view, and it says, P uh, choose peace. Floor of prosperity. See the other person's point of view and choose peace. Now, what organization that you that you haven't joined yet that your ancestors were very much a part of? I'm gonna say Eastern Stars or uh, Daughters yeah, Shrine. Okay, that's a good thing because this ancestor, she's a very shapely woman, not big bone, not skinny, uh, pretty hippie, you know. She's uh, wearing all white and she's doing some kind of scroll. And she say that you need to connect back. You need to connect back with other women so you can get your money ready. So you can start getting your money up. So I think you need to really connect with other women right now. So I think you need to get some girlfriends or, so, or, or join a sisterhood. That's what your ancestor had to say for you. Thank you. All right. Well, that completes your reading. Next time you get a reading from me, you need to be very more definite in what you ask in spirit. You need to be definite because he's going to give you definite answers, and I need you to be able to see him. But as far as this matters, I'm just back walking. Sweetie, it's over. You, 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 you done. If you choose to work on it a little bit longer, that's great. But all in all, you're you're fed up with it. You did your part. You tried to make it work. Okay. I don't like delivering bad news, but hey, as long as I deliver something for you that you can understand, I'm okay. All right. You take, take a deep breath. Did you did all your questions get answered? Alright, if you need to reach me, you know how, okay? Alright, thank you. Alright, have a great one. Everybody, that was tough. I had to draw it out of her. And it, there was so much more that she could have got, but I just couldn't give it. Because she wasn't ready to receive it. But trust me, she's going to call back. We gotta make sure. She's gonna call back span. Span. She's gonna call back in in a span. In a brief span. Alright. Alright everybody, I'm the Baron telling you guys to trust the UN universe because at the end of the day, y'all you got please like, share, and subscribe. Uh share, share, share. That's what I really need for you to do. Share and get my name out there, get the message out there. Let's rock this thing, alright? Alright, everybody. Take care. God bless. Much love.